practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little pray. I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit that sub button. We on the road to 5K. By the time we light that Bronco pack up on September 12th, I want my 5K. I deserve my 5K. I've earned my 5K. And most importantly, how we gonna go to war without the 5K? We clipping up. We preparing. We training. This is that first 30 minutes of 300. We get ready to do battle. This army needs to be as big as possible. You understand me? All these anti-Giants people in the media who need to be dealt with. All these other content creators on YouTube who need to be dealt with. All these fake ass fans who, who half pregnant when it comes to their opinions on the Giants. They need to be dealt with. You understand me? I'm about to be the meanest, coldest, most feared shit in this community since fucking Albert Anastasia had the candy shot run the murder ink. You understand me? It's like that. So hit the damn sub button, join my channel, and let's get it popping. <sighs> Evan Ingram, you're getting on my nerves, and we, and we ain't even in the season yet. You know why Evan Ingram gets on my nerves? Evan Ingram gets on my nerves because every time I think of Evan Ingram, I think of that damn drop. I can't get it out my mind. It's like having your girlfriend cheat on you. Every time you see that girl, you think of her mouth on another man dick. You're never going to get that image out your head. That's what you think of. And when I think of Evan Ingram, I think of that drop. I can't unsee it. You feel me? I can't unsee that drop. You can't unsee your girl cheating on you. No matter how kind she is to you, no matter how nice she is to you and how loving and nurturing and caring she may be, she violated no matter how hard ever Ingram works, Joe Judge, we about to get to his comments in a minute. No matter how hard ever Ingram works, no matter how good of a guy he is, no matter how cool of a dude he may be, I'm never going to let that drop go. You know why? Because it displayed a lack of a clutch gene. You see, here's the thing. It's one thing for, I don't know. Tyreek Hill to have a bad game in the Super Bowl. You know, Tyreek Hill has a bad game in the Super Bowl. It's like, eh, mere bag of shells. We know how good he is. You know what I'm saying? Aaron Rodgers has a bad game in the championship game. Nah, it's cool, Aaron. We, you, you the MVP. We get it. Evan doesn't have a track record. So when I sit back and I see things that Evan Ingram wants to forget his Pro Bowl season, all you do is validate my criticisms. My problem with Evan Ingram is when you first got here, you couldn't stay healthy. There's a reading Caden Smith got a chance to ball Daniel Jones rookie year. So either when your first three years with the Giants, you couldn't stay healthy. Oh man, if Ever Ingle could just play 16 games, if Ever Ingle could just put it together, he's got all the tools. He was a combine warrior. He's the fastest tight end in the league. He could just get it together and stay healthy. For three long years, if Ever Ingle could just stay healthy, if Ever Ingle could just play 16 games, imagine how great he would be. Well, guess what? 2020 comes around and ever angle number 88 is healthy he plays 16 games in the in a system that turned jason witten into a hall of famer got this man over 100 targets and he did nothing but drop balls fumble and, and, and cause daniel jones to throw picks every damn game he was a black cat. He was a curse. Every time we threw the Ever Ingram, it was like the ball was thrown under a ladder. You know how they say you shouldn't walk under ladders? It's bad luck to walk under a ladder. It's as if every time he threw the Ever Ingram, the ball traveled under a ladder and got cursed and some bad happened. Whether he drops it and it gets picked off by a defender, whether he just flat out didn't see the ball coming, it's like 
Daniel Jones got to a point where he ain't want throwing the ball. Now he getting sacked, fumbling and shit. It was bad. Every time I saw 88, I cringed. And I hate to be this hard on a Giants player, but I'm sorry. Evan, you gotta earn you gotta earn my trust back. You gotta earn that respect back. I'm not the only Giants fan that feels like this. I'm probably not even the only person in your locker room that feels like this. The fact that Ever Engel wasn't benched was the only thing I had a problem with with Joe Judge last year. The fact that Joe Judge let him keep his job after all the fuck ups take away the eagle drop. Bro, you can't catch a why you can't catch an end around reverse. You it's bad enough you can't block. What I'm trying to say is, I get frustrated when I hear quotes from Ever Engel talking about so he wants to forget the 2020 Pro Bowl season ever happened. I get upset when I hear Joe Judge try to pour perfume on a skunk and tell me that Ever Engel is the first one and the last one out. Nobody works harder than Ever Engel. I don't give a damn how hard a person works. I'm about results, not excuses. I don't care how hard you work. Did you hit your number? You think a car, if you if you want the CarMax right now, you think the sales floor manager gives a damn how long you been in the damn building if you ain't selling no cars? When I worked at GameStop, I had to sell GameStop, Game Informer magazine subscriptions. I don't know if they still do that. This was 10 years ago. If my boss gave me 20 hours and I didn't get no Game Informer subscriptions for $15, I was in trouble. It didn't matter how good my customer service was. It didn't matter how good I organized the wall. I didn't do my primary job. Your primary job isn't to be liked, Evan. Your primary job is go out there and catch balls and win games, period. And as far as I'm concerned, you didn't do that. I don't even know why you still here. This six million dollars just sitting right there on salary cap. Soon as we trade you, I'm just bothered by the fact that we we bring in Kyle Rudolph. We do all these things with Galladay and Tony. We do all these things to improve the offense. Will it really matter if on third down in the fourth quarter with 90 seconds ago, Daniel Jones throws to an open Ingram and he drops the ball? Will it really matter? What would it all be for? So this is not a bash ever Ingram video. This is not a F ever Ingram video. You know what this is? This is a come to Jesus ever Ingram video because we need you. You're one of us. I wish you the best. I want to say Ever Ingram is the best tight end in football. I want to say Ever Ingram proved me wrong. I want to say Ever Ingram is turned the corner. I want to say, can we give Ever Ingram $20 million a year like Kelsey? I want Ever Ingram to be the best because he's a giant. He's on our team. If Ever Ingram shows up and shows out, it makes us better. Not a Giants fan in the world is rooting against Evan Ingram. We are in his corner. We want to see him succeed, but he has not given us any reason to be hopeful. There's no reason to be optimistic that he is going to succeed. Whether it's an injury or a drop, he's an accident waiting to happen. So Ingram, please prove me wrong. I hope he hears this, says fuck Fizz Vegas and everybody who love him, and goes out there and catch 80 passes. I would love that, because you know who's going to be open all game? Number 88. You got 19 on one side. You got Darius Slayton stretching the field on the other side. You got Tony doing all kind of crazy shit all over the field. And you got Saquon in the backfield. You know who the forgotten person in the offense is going to be? Evan Ingram. He might be the most important piece of the offense because he's going to be open the most. Who benefits from all this shit that the Giants have done this offseason? Number 88. Now let's see if he takes advantage of it. I ain't got nothing else to say. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit. If you rocking with me, my name is Fist Vegas and I approve this message.